Welcome to Roaring Fork Wellness Weekly. I'm Kimberly Henry. On this week's episode, we'll celebrate motherhood in our local wellness scene, talking with Elizabeth Jeffries about the big latch on and shamelessly breastfeeding. So more on that to come. We'll also check in with Randy and his fit tip of the week in just a few moments. But first, I'd like to share with you that this episode is brought to you by Glenwood Moms for Moms, a social network for local moms providing a gift for the motherhood journey through connection, information, support, and inspiration. Join for free today and spread the word to all your mom friends from pregnancy to grandmotherhood. www.glenwoodmomsformoms.com And now let's find out what Randy has to say on his Fit Tip of the Week. This is Randy with this week's Fit Tip, Fit Tip number 34. Always respect and honor what your body can do. This will change from year to year, day to day, and hour to hour. Thanks, Randy. That's good advice. Now let's turn to our interview for the week. Okay, I'm on the phone with Elizabeth Jeffries, who is the founder of a blog um, about breastfeeding, shamelesslybreastfeeding.blogspot.com, I think is how that all goes, and is also the area coordinator for the Garfield County Big Latch On. Elizabeth, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. You sound very chipper and uh, enthusiastic today. Yes, my children are asleep, so (laughs) (laughs) I'm excited. (laughs) So I happen to know the answer to this because I will disclose that that you're my daughter. Um, So I happen to know the answer to this, but why don't you share with us a little bit about um, how old your kids are and, and a little bit about them. Okay, um, my son, Lander, is three years old, um, pretty energetic and spunky little boy. Oh, and he just woke up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my daughter, Janet, is three months old, and she's still asleep, thank goodness. Uh, she's a very chunky, happy baby. She's a good girl. Yes, yeah, she so, is. She we really have is. Lots of fun with our kids. Yeah. So, what made you um, kind of jump on the bandwagon? I mean, it's not unusual or uncommon these days for a mom to de- decide to breastfeed her newborns. But what made you jump on the bandwagon to starting a blog where you felt you needed uh, to advocate for that? Well, I. I like blogging. I've done, you know, a lot. And I wanted to start something new. It was, you know, a fresh new topic for me that I hadn't explored before. And I just had a baby and thought to myself, well, what am I, what am I doing with my life that's interesting? And I realized, you know, I'm not only am I breastfeeding, but I've become quite the lactivist lately. <laughs> What's that, lactivist? Lactivist, yes, <laughs> a, a lactating activist. Wonderful. Uh, one of those wonderful new words that they throw around the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, I can hear Lander in the background. Yeah, she's asking for <laughs> he's asking for a video. Um, uh, so I start. I realized that um, after being on you know Baby Center and some other mommy groups online that a lot of women are very nervous about breastfeeding their children when they're out and about. The women would ask questions about, you know, how can I, how can I have a life and still be breastfeeding? And I I realized, you know, breastfeeding doesn't mean you need to sit on the couch all day at home. You can have a life and you can be out there and and doing things and, and you shouldn't have to feel ashamed. You shouldn't have to feel nervous. There's nothing to feel nervous about. So I started a blog to demonstrate that, you know what, I have my own life, and I do get out of the house occasionally. (laughs) And if my my baby is hungry while I'm out and about, you know, there's nothing wrong with me just feeding her. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't have to worry about what anybody else thinks. I always Uh, thought... Luckily... Oh, sorry, please continue. I was just going to say, I always thought that that was like the ultimate... um, situation because wherever you go you don't have to prepare food or bottles or anything you just take yourself and and you can take care of your baby yeah 
it is much more convenient that way. Um, a lot of women, unfortunately, feel uncomfortable about it, and, you know, they go through the trouble of either buying formula and preparing formula bottles, or, or they pump and fill bottles of breast milk. But even then, you have to keep it cold. You have to keep it from spilling. <laughs> right. And you gotta you have to hope that your baby actually finishes it all because especially if it's pumped milk, there's nothing more disappointing to a, a, a lactating woman than wasting her breast milk. Ah. <laughs> uh, we really do cry yeah. over spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> or you so, know, scream expletives, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of um interaction or support are you offering on your blog and what has been the response um well i have gotten a lot of women i don't get a lot of comments on the blog itself but after posting about it on babycenter.com a lot of women were extremely excited about it um i do have followers <laughs> not very vocal <laughs> ones but i know they're there right um, and uh, you know i've received several little stories in the email and emails from women stating you know it's been encouraging for them to see pictures of me and other women who don't you know sent their pictures in you know, breastfeeding at parks um in restaurants things like that and then you know i i update with pictures of me and our family um and often have pictures of myself breastfeeding just wherever we happen to be when hunger strikes. Right. Um, right. And the thing is your pictures, your the pictures of yourself and, and the other ladies who have submitted pictures are not, they're not in any way um, uncomfortable to look at. They're not, it's not like you're flashing anyone. They're oh, no. Um, very discreet. You don't really see much skin. If relax. you're doing it right, you don't have to see any skin. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what do you think is, why do people feel uncomfortable with the with it? I mean, it, it, that's a foreign concept to me because it was always a very comfortable thing for me. So hearing um, from your experience that, that there's so many people who are not comfortable, why? Why is that? I think many women are uncomfortable with breastfeeding because they fear um, public confrontation with people who might not be comfortable seeing it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that those confrontations are as common as women are afraid they will be. Often you'll hear one story about one woman who got, you know, asked to leave a mall or, or a restaurant because she was breastfeeding. And women tend to think to themselves, well, that woman had that issue. You know, I can't go out and breastfeed in public because that will happen to me. And I'll be so embarrassed. Mm. where the thing is, although it is very, in my opinion, wrong of a woman of a woman to be kicked out of a restaurant because she's breastfeeding, it's, it's really not as common as people think. Right. So and isn't, what, my, where's the law on that? Where, where does the law stand? Um, it, it can change from state to state. Um, the federal law is really loosely, is, is real loose and open to interpretation. That's why different states have their own laws. Mm -hmm. um, Colorado state law says, if I am allowed to be somewhere, then I am also allowed to breastfeed there. Okay. So, I mean, obviously I can't, there are some places where I just can't go, you know, like. Like where? I <laughs> well, I can't. Like you know, there are there are occasionally government buildings you know that you know you can't just waltz into and, and say la di da here I am. So therefore, uh -huh. you couldn't breastfeed there, um, and I can't break into someone's home <laughs> just to breastfeed there. <laughs> but if I am at the park and there is no other reason for me to not be there, then it is illegal for a police officer or a, a citizen to tell me to leave. Okay, so so the law is on your side, at least in the state of Colorado. Yes. Okay. So Most I know that you're you're very supportive and compassionate to women who can't breastfeed for some reason or another. Um, but what are the reasons that you would encourage someone to at least give it a try? Well, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> That's okay. If you need to step away and put in, in a video, we we can wait. <laughs> We want Lander to be happy. 
the question was, what are the benefits, I guess, of breastfeeding? The benefits of breastfeeding, well, um, while I'm not a doctor or even a lactation consultant, I do spend a lot of time looking this stuff up. Um, brain function is highly improved for babies that are breastfed. You know, it can lead to a higher IQ. Um, it can lead to a better mother-baby bond in some cases. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are plenty of formula-fed babies who are very close to them, so I'm not going to comment about that. But right, um, it's a different sort of bond. Even women that I've known who who breastfed one baby and formula-fed the other will tell you it's a different bond. Interesting. Um, you're you're going to love both children the same amount, and they're both going to love mommy, but it is still different. Um, mm -hmm. The stomach lining of a the breastfed baby is 15 times stronger than that of a formula-fed child. What does that mean? Well, um, when it comes to digestive issues, um, you know, anything gastric, they, you know, take medicines or eating certain foods, mm -hmm. it can cause discomfort to a child who is formula-fed, whereas a breastfed baby will have an easier time with it. Oh, okay. They're less likely to get upset tummies and, and gas and um, ulcers. Okay. And things like that. And I know there's a whole laundry list of, of other benefits, but we, we're running short on time, and I wanted to definitely jump into this. So you, you started the blog. You've nursed both yes. children. You nursed Lander up until two years, right, a little over two yes. years. Uh, I will eat him right after two years old. Mm hmm. And he that seemed to go very smoothly um, for him. Yeah, yeah, he did great. Yeah. <laughs> he did very well. Yeah. And um, the, the so from the from the nursing mom to the blog mom who and again, the, the blog is at shamelessly breastfeeding dot blogspot dot com. Is that right? Yes. OK. And then from there, you've gone on to now be the um, organizer of the Garfield County Big Latch-On. So can you fill us in on what the Big Latch-On is, where it started, and why you're doing it here? Um, yes, the Big Latch-On is uh, its not a new idea. It's been going on for several years. Actually, the first time they had one was over in New Zealand. And a woman with the Small Beginnings uh, company or organization uh, brought the idea over to the U.S. to expand it. And it's now in over 22 countries. Um, basically, it's like a big nurse-in. Uh, um, during civil rights, they had sit-ins. Now we have nurse-ins for breastfeeding mothers. And this is a worldwide nurse-in where women get together in a public location, you know, sometimes even just in each other's backyard if they can't find another place to meet. Mm -hmm. And uh, all at the same time, at 1030, their local time on that day, um, this year it's August 3rd. Everybody la lashes their baby to the breast for at least one full minute. Uh, extra people who are around witness it, count everybody up, get a, get a definite clear tally of how many women and babies were breastfeeding. And then uh, later that day, the, whoever organized that local latch on will send the numbers into the, the main website, biglatchon.org. So we're basically trying to beat a world record of how many babies breastfed at 10:30 on August 3rd at for the one time. minute. And now, is it the for same exact more. time all around the world, or is it 10:30 no, locally in each place, 10, or how does? Yes, 10:30 that local time. So, so kind of like a wave to... across the globe instead of a. Yeah, exactly like a wave, like um, like daylight savings time. You know how it it changes. <laughs> right, as you, you know, all around the world or whatever. <laughs> the cause of many a jet lag as you travel across the world. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So you're doing the big latch on in Glenwood on August third yes. at ten thirty. Yes, at Sayre Park. That? At, at Sayre Park. Okay. Yes, at Sayre Park. And if um, so, what is it? What's going to happen? <laughs> Well, we're asking ladies to show up as early as, as 9.30. Um, okay. We're going to have a, at least a few booths available 
um, it, it, local business people who want to advertise their business and show support for the big latch on will be there um, to tell you about their business. If you want to come check that out, it's as early as 930. You can mm -hmm. start your sign in. We are encouraging everyone to show up at least by 10 to sign in. If you don't sign in, your latch on doesn't count. Oh, and okay. Then, yeah, and then at 1030, you know, everybody will be seated in their respective areas, ready to go. 1030, we'll announce it, and everyone will latch on for at least one minute. And then, you know, obviously some babies are actually going to be hungry and want to eat longer than that. So <laughs> after right. mommies are all finished up feeding babies, uh, we'll continue to, to mingle and pass out some door prizes and things like that. Uh, until about one o'clock. And I hear you've got some really cool door prizes. You want to oh, my goodness. tease us with some we of those? Do. <laughs> I will tell you a little bit about it. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but we have some. We have a gift certificate from our fellas. For, um, so anybody who knows what that is, it's a beautiful little bras ear shop, and they mm -hmm. do have nursing bras. Nice. Um, we have a donation from Marshmallow Ranch. Uh, Ginny Roosh McKinney is a local uh, jewelry artist, and she's donated some really nice jewelry. We've got a book mm. train gift certificate. Um, it's a really cute, a really cute item from a la carte. And uh, also, my friend Cynthia, who's working with me on this, uh, got us some gift certificates for a, a stroller mom's workout from a, a local personal trainer. Oh, how fun. Yeah. How fun. So it's very cool stuff. And it's um, free, right? It's free for moms that want to participate? Yes, everything is free. We're not selling anything. We're not charging anything. Even the booths with the vendors, they're not actually there to sell. Um, but if you want to go and check out their business, then you can set something up with them to you know, at a later date, kind of the. So it's doing. all about the the mission. Which so, what is the goal of the big latch on for you? Maybe personally for this this first one for you, and what's the goal of the organ overall organization? Why are we doing it? I I would love to get at least fifty moms locally to latch on. Probably okay, more, but at least fifty we're hoping for. Nice. Um, and I would like to do this, you know, Glenwood Springs, the Roaring Fork area, I have never had a public breastfeeding confrontation or any kind of dirty looks. I, this has been a very breastfeeding tolerant, supportive community. Unfortunately, not everyone can say the same about their own communities elsewhere. Right. So by doing this, we're really more showing support for women elsewhere and also showing women locally that, hey, this is a very supportive community. And they need to know that and feel that. Wonderful. Um, and then uh, the worldwide record from last year is 8,866, I believe. So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're hoping that this year, due to us having our own latch on, that we can help beat that. Wonderful. Okay. And and it's all about awareness, right? That's the reason that we're doing this event. It's yes. just awareness and support. Great. Yep. Very nice and okay. So, how can people get information about the local Big Latch On? Where do we send them? Um, there are two different places you can go. You can go to biglatchon.org, and in the top right corner, there's a button about locations. Okay. And you can use that to find our local venue. Okay. Also, you can go to Facebook, and we are on Facebook. We are Big Latch On Dash Garfield County. Big Latch On dot or Dash Garfield County on Facebook. Yes, okay. on Facebook. Fantastic. Um, do you want people to? Do you need more sponsors? Do you need volunteers? Do you need more moms? And do you want them to res to reserve in advance? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. All of it, yes. All of it, yes. We need more people, more sponsors. Um, some more donations would be great. Really, we just want to provide a comfortable place for women to come and hang out and mingle, hopefully get some refreshments passed out. Um, and, you know, it's always nice to have a little extra cash so we can show some more cool prizes and, and games and just fun stuff to do out there. And, 
food, food, breastfeeding moms need to eat, right? <laughs> yes. Nursing moms get very hungry and very thirsty. Okay, so we'll see what we can do to um, get some of that going. So there's an email address if someone wanted specifically to inquire about sponsorships. Um, where? What's that email address? It's biglatchon.garfieldcounty at gmail.com. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Super anything easy. anything else that we need to know about either your blog, your mission, or the Big Latch On before we wrap things up here? Um, if any local ladies have pictures or stories that they want to send in to put up either on the Facebook page or in my blog, that is always welcome. And you can just send it to that email address. All right. Fantastic. Advertise. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is a, a noble mission that you've taken on for yourself. And um, well, thank I, you. I think you have already helped a lot of women, and hopefully you will continue to do so. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. We will see you at the Big Latch On. All right. See you there. Hi, this is Randy again. I'd like to personally invite you to join our Roaring Fork Wellness community. This free resource brings wellness practitioners, service providers, and information to you wherever you are. Come join the conversation in our discussion forum and share your ideas and your questions with fellow locals. Read articles from fitness and nutrition to acupuncture to sustainable living to yoga written by locals and find out about healthy local events for individuals and families. Roaring Fork Wellness is the Valley's wellness community. RFWellness.com. That's www.rfwellness.com. R is in Roy, F is in Fork, wellness.com. Thanks for joining us this week for Roaring Fork Wellness Weekly. We look forward to sharing with you again next week. And if you've got any thoughts or ideas for the show, shoot us an email at Kimberly at KimberlyHenry.com. Have a great week.